Chum 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 of the month. Thou art torn. Should we do the different way round? Yes, maybe. That's a bit better. That's better. Thou art torn. I am torn. Right. Today I'd like to welcome as my very first chum of the month. Maestro Christian Koenig, conductor extraordinaire, conductor of the Early Opera Company, and very, very good friend of me. Christian, of well, long time. Of long standing. So, how long have we known each other, or don't we say? It has been 16 years, oh, isn't it? Yeah, I think it has. And we met in Batignano. Yes, in the summer. On the amazing festival run by um, Adam Pollock. And, uh, Beautiful, wonderful, sunny days. And Amazing what days. What project were we, were we doing? The uh, Pomodoro, or Il Polodoro, as we like to call it. Il Pomodoro of Chesty. Um, and I think it's safe to say that since that hilarious time, we've worked together lots and lots. We have indeed, yeah, lots of operas, lots of concerts, lots of, yeah, wing wars, and we haven't done anything stage, have we? One semi-stage thing. Semi-stage things, yeah. yes. And you have staged them yourself in your own way by walking across the platform. <laughs> At the wrong time, time. thank you. <laughs> um, but <clears throat> enough of me. Yeah. Uh, I'd quite like to ask you, because obviously you're, you're very involved with Baroque music, but for pleasure, do you listen to any other sorts of music? or No, no, <laughs> not really. I don't actually. Well, I do listen to some, but mostly... But you're very aware of everything that's going on. You always seem to know about things that are happening and what sort of music, so you must keep abreast of things. I suppose so, but only by listening really, I don't buy other music. Right. I don't actually, in truth, shh, really buy much music anymore. But these days you don't need to, do you? Well, no, you can listen to it, it's all on then, you just stick it on. Yeah. I'm afraid, for my pleasure, it's more the television. <gasps> it is true, we both share a great love of um, TV <clears throat> dramas, in particular 70s bad horror. Yeah, bad 70s horror. <laughs> And um, supernatural things, we like um, like with ghost action, don't we? Yeah. And new ones, and Lightfields is the one at the moment. That's yeah, I, I didn't really get into Lightfields. Well, I've got it? the last two to watch, but nothing, nothing. But we are both desperately, desperately in love of Game of Thrones. And this very evening, yeah. we're very excited because it starts. Very, very excited. So, we're actually here in my flat at the moment, I'm about to have a little party before I head off for a while. And uh, unbeknown to the guests, they will be thrown from the room <laughs> at 8.59 when Game thrown of Thrones for the starts. Throne. Thrown for the throne! Oh, yeah, the excellent. great excitement. And actually, our friendship nearly collapsed, didn't it? <gasps> A fateful day, about five months ago. God, whatever it was. When I'd taped, we'd both been away, and I'd taped about seven or eight episodes. And I came over for a big Game of Thrones And post. there was much excitement. Three days before Hillary, I'd been sleeping. <laughs> and... Uh, my Sky driver decided to uh, delete delete them all because <laughs> by mistake I pressed record the series of How Clean Is Your House, <laughs> even though I did want to watch one episode. So there was much rage. That there was day. much rage, suppressed rage, which was even more disturbing. Was it suppressed? I thought I let rip. No, not really. You kept it to yourself. I was a bit disturbed, but never mind. <laughs> Well, we want none such nonsense on no, the No, exactly. It's already set and I've deleted everything. Excellent. So you said you're going away now. What are you off to do? I'm What's off next? to do Ario Dante uh, oh, in Salzburg at the Landis <gasps> Theatre. Very and nice. straight to Stuttgart for a revival of a very racy production of Platé. <gasps> Excellent. Which starts with me in bed with the tenor on stage. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, then back to London to do Spitalfields Festival where we're a resident this year. Lovely. Um, and I've just been listening to a few edits of our forthcoming disc, and when will that be coming out? It's a disc of... Xerxes, and that comes out in August, I think. Excellent, that's really quick. So it's quite quick. Well, not really. It was, remember, it was, they normally bring them out a bit quicker. It was going to be April, but then they put it forward because they wanted to coincide it with a, a um, uh, launch of... Uh, a, 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 a profile of the recording and stuff in Gramophone magazine. It is true. But this very good. But early on, probably this month, and by the time you see this, we will have it will be announced. We won the BBC Music Opera <gasps> Award for our sex. That's so brilliant! It was well, quite congratulations. It was very nice. Sadly, Hillary's not on that. They didn't have a mezzo, 
So, never mind. Excellent. If there had been one, it would have been. Mezzo? What's this mezzo nonsense? Contralto, magnifico. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, um, yes, that would be nice. Well, that's brilliant. Congratulations to all. Well, looking forward to the Xerxes disc and looking forward to many, many more collaborations with... Many, indeed. ...with my lovely charm of the month. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bye!